the Philippines where sunlight gleams, Brian Tess and family dreams. By the shorelines, kids at play in a tropical bright array. Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Tess. And I'm Brian. Uh, thank you for, to everyone for joining us again. Uh, thanks for staying with us on our journey, guys. And today, We've got a video, we went back out to the land just to check on the progress of the pig pens, uh, get the charge controller connected up to the solar pump, add some more uh, black PVC pipe to extend that all the way down to the pig pen. Uh, the girls got on the machetes again, the bolos, and cleared a little bit of area. We're, we're gonna go out and pitch a tent there and stay for a few days and see if we can get some gardens in. So we wanted to clear some land. And uh, if you stay to the end, I've got a treat for you guys. Ati May, we all went to the beach on Sunday when we were out there, stayed at Star Beach Resort again, and we took the kids, and we all went to the beach on Sunday, so nice little treat for you guys. Stay watching till the end. Uh, well, we're back in Balud today to uh, try and get some of the land cleared out there and get some more uh, parts from the hardware for the, for the water pump. We've had to get a T-piece and a couple of taps because I want two separate, one to run down to the pig pen and one to have a tap there at the well. Um, so hot here today, even just jump back in the car from the hardware store, even with the aircon on, I'm still sweating like a pig. Um, also had an issue on the trip this morning, we picked up a nail in the tyre, a lot of road works on the way here, so uh, we picked up a nail in the right rear tyre, it's a slow leak. I've got a compressor in the car, so I connected up, it was down to about 21 pound. So I just pumped it back up to 35 and uh, it's holding up at the moment so I can drive around and get a few things done. And we've just stopped at Uncle Toto's now on the way back to the mountain. And uh, try not to get run over. This right rear, copped the nail on the way here. A lot of road works here in Masbati and that's the reason because there's always so much debris on the road and on the sides of the road like this you drive over stuff like that you've got another puncture that's life welcome to the philippines okay so we've got the the tire repaired everyone's out here Ati gel's having a nap here on the the new wooden seat Mumung's relaxing over there on the cane. And Tess, she's got the baby's bottles and a plate because it's almost lunchtime. We've lost half a day literally in running backwards and forwards into town to get some plastics and get some stuff done. So, <laughs> keep the mune's here. I'm <laughs> And of course, Ati May is here. She's sitting over there because this is the only place you get signal here on the mountain. When you come here, if you put your phone up on the windowsill there, you can get signal occasionally. It's not. Okay, so just wanted to come over and see what the boys have done. And I also, as I said, I bought a new stretch of the uh, black pipe. And the black pipe now reaches all the way from up at the well down here to the pig pen the rebar just arrived today to make the gates but the boy the boys because there's only baby piglets we're going to put three in there three in there for now um and the boys just made up these bamboo temporary gates so yeah these these two are complete for now all except the gates um so we're going to use these to get the six piglets over here and put the bamboo on, keep them penned in. And we've got to wait. We've ordered the bags of cement, but it hasn't been delivered yet to finish off. So it's pretty much still at the same stage it was last weekend. Kuyatan is back just replacing that hose, that, that rubber black pipe, uh, sorry, the black pipe, plastic PVC. He's replacing that from the pump because last time last week as you guys remember it only made it down to here somewhere in the long grass now we've got enough to go all the way um, 
I bought a 60 foot length of that black hose today at the hardware while we were in town. Um, not much further than we were last week, but I thought I wanted to come out, make sure the, the pipe was connected up for the pig pen, and then uh, discuss with Tess's father um, that we'll use the some of the bamboo maybe and some of the woods that were cut down um, and we've got some old iron still and we need to knock up some sort of a shed over here up off the ground keep it dry so we can store some pig feeds and maybe even the concrete um, the bags of cement them so we need to knock up some sort of a shed won't happen today but we're out here to just to talk and plan and try and get through to everyone in English uh, what is required to be done so as I said last week it can be very very frustrating Masbati the rodeo capital of the Philippines Perfect. we've got cowgirl Tess and baseball May <laughs> out here with a bolo each again only one bolo today each oh, I, I, I or did you bring three between two of you just one, one each? each. One so only two, two machetes, two girls, two machetes this weekend. Not quite the same. And we Don't still chop have, my legs. We still have one inch pipe there, babe. Just bought a T-piece and two taps. So I want coming from the outlet of the pump, I want to... Uh, put the T-piece on and two taps, one for the black pipe going down to the pig pen and then one for up here at the well. So if we want water ourselves, you don't have to go all the way down to the pig pen to the end of the hose and get water and bring it back or use a timber to scoop it out of the well. We can just turn the pump on and use the second tap, pump it out up here. So we'll probably just pitch a tent out here and just spend a couple of nights out here. So I said to Tess, well, we're going to need to be able to we've got kalan for cooking um we've got a three-room tent and as i said spend probably three days at a time out here the idea is pitch a tent stay out here for a couple of days get as much done as we can then pack up and head back to the city um until we can get the the house built here so we're pretty much ready set go now we can again sands and gravels are hard to get here so once we can get enough sands and gravels um, then we can get the bags of cement out here and we can start getting the hollow blocks made um, we're going to go and stay at star beach again tonight and maybe hit the beach tomorrow and enjoy Polani beach while we're here enjoy the the beach tomorrow and then we'll head back to the city maybe just after lunch tomorrow and yes i've finally donned a hat because uh, i already have nasty skin cancer on my head that I've had for quite some time um, and the the heat out here it's not good I've had uh, actually had cancer removed from my throat uh, 10 years ago I've had cancer re tumor removed from my arm and I had a really bad tumor on my eye uh, when I was back in Australia and had the operations got through all that and then uh, started to get skin cancers I've had them Got them on the top of my head and the side of my head. So I have got some cream. Uh, there's a skin cancer cream uh, SFU. There's one. There's one I had before called Fudix um, that I got from my doctor in Australia. Technology is great, and we've made some really, really good uh, progress with treating cancer these days. Uh, not only tumors in the body being able to cut them out with great success but also with skin cancers having a cream that can actually it aggravates the skin first it eats into the cancer you use it supposed to use it for 28 days and then it causes a bigger wound than you started with than the cancer and then you leave it and let it heal uh, and it's supposed to go away and I I actually treated this one on the side of my head here back in Australia and it was gone for a year um, no sign of it and it's come back again in exactly the same place. So I'm back using the cancer cream at the moment. Um, and that's another reason I wanted to hit the beach while we're here because salt water is great for wounds. So I thought while we're here, I'll get myself into the salt water, trying to keep a little bit of shade over the top. Plus back of my neck gets sunburned pretty bad when I'm in just a singlet here. 
and the girls have been slashing away madly for the last hour or so in the heat and uh, trying to get some of this cut down if the boys will get over here and get this poison done even better and right now they're trimming some of the branches off the trees that they cut down last week and yes we have a permit to clear these trees because this is where the house is going to go technology is great this compact little 300 watt panel is cranking I looked before it was 13.6 it's actually 13.5 now but, but yeah it's cranking 13.6 volts most of the time 13.5 and that's keeping the little battery charged up down there um, and it's quite successful and I've just I've just ordered a, a small 12 volt car fridge um, I think it cost me $30 Australian over here I've ordered that to be delivered instead of using the cooler and the ice cubes all the time I can just load that in the back of the car in the morning I've got a an outlet a cigarette lighter fitting at the back of the RAV then once I arrive here I can take it out of the back of the car instead of leaving it running draining the battery in the car I can bring it over here connect it to the 12 volt battery here that'll keep my fridge running all day while I'm here and the little solar panel up there will keep charging the battery while we're running the fridge all day so great investment for as I said I think the whole setup the 300 watt panel including the charge controller and the water pump was about $55 Australian and the sun's been gone here behind the clouds for about oh there it is over there about 10 minutes now so it's and it's not directly above the panel it's actually going to the west because it's the afternoon now it's now uh, 2 35 in the afternoon so the sun's actually headed over to the west uh, but we're still getting enough sun on this 300 watt panel to generate 12.6 volts into the battery as I said it's not going to be used all day every day or all night it's only going to be used every few days to fill the tanks down at the pig pen so as long as there's uh, enough charge in the battery each day to keep it topped up then even if it's a rainy day the pump will still work off the battery fill the tanks down at the pig pen happy days well made it back to uh, Star Beach Resort in Polani this afternoon still sweating like a pig but the rooms well air conditioned they've got a function going on here tonight so it's uh, gonna be a little noisy I'm guessing because it's gonna be a lot of video and stuff happening we're in one of the rooms upstairs they've got those cute bungalows here that you can stay in quite inexpensive but no air conditioning so for me air conditioning is a must plenty of people already there ready to have a cool drink and we're back up the stairs as always it's nice being upstairs hello it's nice being upstairs because you don't have any noise from above you the rooms downstairs there's two VIP rooms downstairs also but it gets quite noisy hi and the view from up here you can't the, the trees are in the way but you can't actually see a little bit of the water to the beach and literally the beach is only 50 feet from the stairs here so we're set up here the girls are here already relaxing in the air conditioning oh so much cooler in here Sunday morning we're just uh, just about to head out and go and get the kids from the bookhead and bring them back to the beach uh, check out here is normally 12 o'clock lunchtime the check-in is after 2 p.m. check out is 12 lunchtime so and big boy Kyle Kyle stayed with Lola and Lolo last night so we had a break. We've still got Caleb, Caleb with us. Artie May's got Caleb there now. So we had one last night, but just the one. It was so peaceful.
They've got the gate open here at this end of the pool now. Hey, my arm can't get longer. You need to stay in the shop. I can't do it because you're too short. You're dwarf. <laughs> so we just went back to the mountain and collected the crew so we can take these guys to the beach. Auntie Gel's back with us and all the kids. Caleb's here. We've got the whole crew today. So We've got only got a couple of hours, so we said we'd bring the kids down to the beach. In the Philippines, where sunlight gleams, Brian Tess and family dreams, by the shorelines, kids at play in a tropical bright array. Sipping on fresh coconut Laughing under a palm tree hut Warm breezes where the heart feels light Sandy toes in the golden light Brian strums his old guitar while Tess whispers to the stars, dancing waves a melody, sharing joy in harmony. So that's where we're up to on the land out there. Uh, the charge control is functioning great and it's working to charge up that little battery, keeping the pump going. Uh, we're going to get some tanks out there hopefully next week, although the prediction is for 10 days of rain. There's a low pressure system coming. So we might be uh, stuck for the next two weeks, but we'll see. So thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers that have come on board. We're still trying to hit that 3,000 subscribers in one year. I don't think we're going to quite make our goal, but we're still trying. Uh, thank you to everyone who's donated through PayPal. Thank you to everyone who has donated through Super Thanks. And thank you to all the members uh, who have joined our inexpensive memberships helping to fund our project out there. Um, we wouldn't do it without you guys, so we really do appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Hope you guys enjoyed the treat at the end of the video there, and we will see you on the next one. So, from an Australian in the Philippines and a Filipino in the Philippines. Peace out. Peace out, guys. <laughs>